right, welcome to Rob's Fix It Shop. We've got a musical instrument uh, repair edition, and we've got this Alesis. Yeah, it's a V49. Yeah. V49. And um, it's got a problem that. Uh, C and C sharp are not working. And why is that? A cat threw up on it. Yeah, so a cat threw up on it. So, um, so this is really... This is really an anti-cat video. No, it's not. I mean, the poor cat. Anyway, um, so I thought it'd be interesting to kind of... I mean, I suspect it's just some of the circuit is bridged or something by the, by the vomit. And we'll just have to clean it up. But there might be more work, but I thought it'd be interesting to kind of get this apart and see what's inside. And it's a MIDI keyboard, so, um, and it looks like it's pressure sensitive too, right? Yep. Yeah, so we'll get it apart, we'll take a look at it and see if we can fix it. All right, so I'm assuming we've got about a thousand screws on the back here. I'm just kind of assuming that uh, we got to take them all out. So I got the electric drill because there's so many of them. Okay, so we've got one right in the middle there, right there. I don't know what that's for, but I bet we have to take it out. Okay, so then this slips off here. So, yeah, that looks... Uh, pretty cheesy in there. Everything's held in place with uh, hot glue. Uh, nothing too interesting there, but I'm going to disconnect this cable. Uh, let me mark them first. What is that? What? No. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's a little worrisome here, right? Why? Because there's no screws holding it in, right? I wonder if we can... Undo this... If we undo the screw, if we can just take the key off. Uh, what were the two keys? Where were the keys that were bad? C and C sharp. C is these two, right? Let's see if we can... Okay, so we were able to pull that screw off by kind of coming up underneath it, or the spring. No, nope, the key does not come off. Yeah, because it, like it looks like the base of the circuit board is held in by these screws here. Mm -hmm. These screws that appear everywhere. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like you can get those off without taking the keys off. So there must be some way of... Like popping them out? Yeah, popping them out. It's like they're catching a little bit here. They must be easy to take. I'm, I'm guessing that they're easy to take off once you figure it out. Okay, so that did it. You got it? Yeah. Oh. How'd you do it? 
So it looks like there's a little tab right, right there, mm -hmm. right, and that's catching. And so I, so pull the spring. I think we're gonna end up pulling a lot more than that, but okay. yeah, we've got a disgusting mess underneath there, right? But hmm. these are membranes here. Yeah. So I think we'll be able to fix that. They're all labeled, which is nice. Do we? Uh, yeah. So. Okay, so, yeah, it's quite disgusting in there. Okay, so, so we're going to clean this. We're going to clean up this board here. Um, and then hopefully I can get these plastic things back in. Um, but yeah, let's, we're going to put the dirty keys into the ultrasonic cleaner. And so here's the, here's probably the problem here. You see how it's kind of got gunk kind of bridged in there? Yeah. You're going to want these little pads here to kind of connect. So here we're seeing all this crap in here, cat vomit. And um, I think if we clean that up, I think we'll probably be pretty good. And this is right where the keys were. So we were talking about how the reason that those two keys might not work is just this in mm -hmm. intrusion. Yep. Are you endorsed by that brand of toothbrush, Dad? Mm-hmm. Oral-B. Mm -hmm. Specially tested to remove cat vomit. Nine out of ten dentists recommend it for removing cat vomit, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, I really think you got to start up in your product placement. Just throw in a little bit more uh, link and bio kind of stuff. <laughs> like what? Have you ever heard the phrase, uh, link in the bio? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I should do that? Yeah. Kind of maybe get a kickback from my anhydrous alcohol supplier. Mm-hmm. All right, so the circuit board looks pretty good. I don't know. It would have been good to get the whole circuit board out and the ultrasonic clean it, but then that would then I think we'd have to take this whole looks like the the circuit boards are split between here and here, mm -hmm. and each of them has a cable, mm -hmm. and uh, so I think we would have to pull a, pull all the keys off all the way. My big fear. So one of the nice things about MIDI, right, is that like. If you have a wrong note, you can just move that wrong note mm -hmm. in uh, in Logic yeah. or whatever you're using. So I'm scared that us doing this is just going to make all of these keys not work instead of just the two that I had before that were very manageably <laughs> able to be <laughs> yeah. figured out. You end up worse? Yeah. Possibly. It's happened. Yes, of course. The other thing too is I don't, we may not be able to get these back in and then we will have to pull the circuit board, but we'll see, right? We'll try to avoid it if we can. So why does water mess with circuits when the alcohol you're using doesn't? It's not the water, right? It is that usually with circuits like on phones, mm -hmm. um, what happens is the water evaporates and what's left is the minerals that are in the water because it's usually like, you know, any any water you're drinking is going to have all kinds of minerals in it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so like on a phone, what happens is those minerals make the water conductive. And then as the water starts to evaporate, 
it becomes more and more conductive. And so it short circuits the, the circuit, right? And so a lot of people will say, oh, you got to put your phone in rice, right? Because that'll dry out the water. Wrong. Because once the water's evaporated, the minerals are still in there, mm -hmm. right? If you get your phone wet, you need to take it apart and clean it with alcohol. Alcohol does not conduct electricity uh, the way that water does. Mm -hmm. And it evaporates fully, right? Because it's lighter. So why is it just coincidence that when I put my phone in rice, it works next? Absolutely. Time? Okay. Yeah, it's it's... It's a wives' tale that it helps, old wives' tale that it helps at all. In fact, it, it can make it worse. And generally, like when I've, when you kids have dropped your phones or whatever, I'll just take it down here right away, disassemble it, and just soak it with alcohol. The alcohol absorbs the water, but it also rinses off the minerals. Mm -hmm. And it's the only chance you've got, although it can be kind of bad. The alcohol can affect your screen in a very negative way, mm. but yeah, I don't... There you go. That works. No. Nah, nah. Yeah, we're going to have to pull for... So we're just going to have to pull all of these, which I didn't want to do because I don't... Every one you take off increases the chance of breaking one. Mm -hmm. Which will remind the audience that there were only two keys that were broken when we started, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we couldn't get this in, so we're just pulling the rest of the keys out. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Nice. Because the cable comes underneath and connects to here, so we can't really get to the cable without moving this. I feel like you really don't care about all this extra cat hair as much as I do. Okay, so I think we'll be able to do now what we want it to do, right, which is draw which the... Which is pull it through. Right. Okay. All right, so now we just pull these through. Doing pretty easy now. But I don't think you can do that from the top.
Okay, that looks pretty good. So you see how that's all in there? Yep. We're probably tested now. Is it replugged in on the? Don't we have to replug this in? Yes. Keys What? No, that was me. That was me. Don't worry. Hey, this one still doesn't work. Alright, so here's where we're at. Uh I gotten all this cleaned up, right? I even took it out and we put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and um and what I found is, is that if you look at these guys, one of these is longer than the other, right? And so these have to be in the right direction. And that... And they're used kind of together to, um, to start the key and then shut off the key. And these are all working pretty good, right? But in this row, right, if I go, Okay, so we got it all cleaned up again. I had a little sh solder joint there. Now let's kind of test it. Okay, those are all working, and then... It's kind of hard to get them like this, but... Yeah, so they all look like they're working. Now let me try getting that back in here. Uh, I'll be damned. It works. Okay, so now i got to start putting this all back together. So I'll start by putting the screws back in here. And uh, then start attaching the keys. Yeah, so I think this is going to work a lot better. Putting the black keys in first.
All right, so that's all of them. So it looks like it's working. I got just got to put the case back on. Well, that's it for Rob's Fix-It Shop. Uh, musical Instrument Repair Edition. Um, it turns out really what this needed was to be taken apart and cleaned off. And um, eventually what really worked as far as cleaning was uh, I had to take the board completely out. I had to ultrasonically clean it. And then I took a pencil eraser. And that seemed to do the trick. Like many repair jobs, a lot of it was just figuring out how to get those keys out, how to get them back together, uh, get those circuit boards out. That was really kind of a pain, to tell you the truth. I even tried, on so I eventually had to unsolder the connector to kind of lift it out. You know, if you spill something on yours, the, you know, the important thing is to get that membrane off, get it cleaned out of the membrane, and you have to be able to get to the bottom of the board to get to the membrane. You might be able to kind of flip it up without dis, uh, desoldering the cable. I desoldered it so then I could um, get everything cleaned up, but I think you can kind of tip it up enough that you can get those membranes back in, right? And you gotta pull the little pigtails on those to get those in, but it does seem to work. My son will be glad to get it back. He had to go home. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought it would be just quick opening it up and, and cleaning it. But if you found it interesting, just hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.